Hey guys, so sorry the video is a bit late today and the lighting is dreadful. It is 6.52pm and I thought I should get onto this video. Um, it's still holidays at the moment so I've been working a lot so I don't really have time during the day to film the video. Um, but today I thought I would show you some of my nail wheels and how I, how I keep them and also my nail sort of arty sort of stuff. Um, I'm waiting for um, some subscription boxes to turn up so I was hoping to do an unboxing today but it hasn't arrived yet and I'm also waiting for us a package in the mail so I will show you guys that when it arrives. Hopefully that will arrive by Thursday so it can be my Thursday video. But today I thought I would show you my <coughs> nail wheels and also my nail art oh, supplies. <coughs> so I have brought... Oops, Sorry, I'm just emptying this out. I just, from work, came out. I just put these little baskets. Little simple, real easy things. They are $3 for four or $3 for three? Something like that. $3 for four or for $3 for three. And they're really good. They're pretty small. They're pretty perfect for everything. Um, I have also got some bigger ones, which I use for some other things. But I'm planning on putting my nail polishes in them. And actually, when I get a better case, I'll be putting my nail polishes in them as well. So I just keep my wheels in here. So at the back I have some empty non-used wheels. I think I've got four. Four. Yeah, I've got four of those. I need to get some more actually. And then I have my design wheels. So I have quite a few. Um, I have, although not very in order because I was at a job recently and I take these everywhere I go and everything has just sort of got messed up. But I have um, design wheels oh, and then I use them also as colour wheels. So bear with me, I'm just going to quickly figure out what's going on so I can show you guys. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry, I probably should have been prepared before I started this video but... You know me, never preparing before I go to a video. Okay. They look prepared. Okay. So these here, that one is not. Oh my gosh. Okay, so these here are my colour wheels. And these ones are my design wheels. So, yeah. So here we go. I've organised them in um, brand. So we've got BC and Co. I don't know whether you can read that. This is a colour as well. I just ran out of space. We've got Revlon. Um, this one's mixed. It's got Chi Chi, Maybelline, NYC, Depend. Depend? Okay, yep, Depend. Mickey and Yanu. Yanu. So that's sort of just like sort of random singles that I have. <clears throat> I've got simple colours. This is just one of them. These are my new two polishes. Which I'll show you in a haul, hopefully soon. This is China Glaze. I've got Bow, which is a warehouse brand. BYS and Clean Colour are both on the same one just because I don't have many of those. CR Nail Polish. Another Revlon. Another Sinful Colours. Sally Henson. Lips and Tips, which is a Kmart brand. I've only got one of those. This is mixed again. It's Eclipse, Milani and Jordana. This is Ally Gill and Sex. Got Essie, I've only got two of those as well. And then I've got OPI. I don't have many of OPI or Essie because, as I've told you before, they're really expensive in New Zealand. So I only have two Essies, I'm hoping to get more, and I've only got one, two, three, four, eight OPI. So hopefully I'll get some more of those. Ooh, I just, just dropped everything. I'll make those up later. So then, um, my design wheels, all I do is if I see a picture I really like, I normally just copy it down. So I've got these ones here. So I've got, um, sort of I love you, 
some really cool random designs that just sort of really free show you. I came up with these ones here. Uh, my sister started work and her work colours were teal and black so I designed some teal and black designs for her so I could do hers for work. Yep. I have this one here which is my newer one. So I've just got some sort of colour glitter over some colour. Other random ones. Some daisies. This one here. Um got asked to see if I could do the crayon dripping situation so I did that there so you just sort of have your nails like that yeah the fault in our stars sort of thing and I think they're still I've still got to do those and I've still got to do that one as well that one sorry <coughs> I have this one. These are sort of formal nails that I had. Just hold it up better. Oh, this is a striper wheel. Um, I didn't show you this before. Just all my striper colours. Have this one here. This one, and this has my butterfly, which is like one of my favourite nails that I've done. Some of them are really random. These ones here, I was just testing out a new polish. So, yeah. These are, this is my St. Patrick's Day wheel. I was just sort of fiddling around with the colours. Getting some ideas on the paper. On paper, on the nails. These are my Christmas wheel. It's kind of broken because I've pulled these off. But that's my Christmas wheel. I've got this one. Got Skittles down here. And a minion. And finally this wheel. I think these are my most one of my most favourite nails I've ever done. I found them online and I thought they were absolutely amazing. Love, love them. And this is really pretty as well. I've got some back to school nails here. Yeah. So that is all for my nail wheels. Oh, <clears throat> losing everything. And in the next basket, I keep my nail supplies. So I have in here, I have my sponges. So that's for like, um, oh, I can't even think of the word. Ombre. There we go. I have a wax stick which I use to to open my to open to use my my gems. I've only got that in there because obviously I went to a gig recently. I've got cuticle oil. I've got oh my goodness it won't come out. Four dotting tools. They normally are kept in my case but they're all in here. I have a cuticle pusher and other end obviously. And then in this little bit here this little bag here from my pharmacy, I keep all my sort of nail art stuff. So I have some, I don't know what it was called, like, what the heck would you call that? Uh, I don't, it's like a little rope sort of thing, but it's not rope. <laughs> um, I have some nail stickers or steel, seals. You can't see those because it's shiny. They're sort of butterflies and bows. Got these ones here. Some musical note water transfers. Oh, have these feathers. I have some of the tip guides. I have this stencil, which is really cool. I got given that ages ago. It was upside down. I have some nail striping tape. Some pretty little gems I got as a gift a while ago. Some rhinestones. I've got two packets of oopsies and one is open. God. Two packets of colourful rhinestones. This one's almost out. And some square diamond tage. You probably can't see that either. 
so yeah that's pretty much everything that I keep in my little nail cases um I'm hopefully going to be doing a nail polish sort of collection and how I store it and everything soon I'm just waiting to get a new case because my case is actually spilling full of nail polish so it wouldn't be a very good idea plus because I move quite around quite a lot with my nails um everything is portable so yeah I'll hopefully get around to that soon for you guys I hope you enjoyed this video I'm sorry it's a bit long and hopefully 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 on Thursday I'll be coming with an unboxing or at least a haul I'm hoping so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Give this video a video a thumbs up if you have a lot of nail wheels. And if you love nail wheels, definitely give this a thumbs up. And if you have any requests for any videos, then leave a comment down below. Or if you want me to do a tutorial on something, definitely leave a comment below. And subscribe for more videos. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys.